I don't know. I don't know. place is sufficiently lit now. Therefore, there's nowhere for a bat to spawn. There's nowhere for a zombie to spawn. I'm going to just torch over here. Uh, the torches are decently spaced. Not too close, not too far. Not too many, not too few. Making sure I light all of the little alcoves. Lighting the corners of this spawn room, as well as, of course, the spawner itself. Entrance. <laughs> uh, let's see. Lighting up there. Lighting down there. Make some more torches. More torches. Yay. Mostly we just want to make sure that more monsters don't spawn because we don't want to have our helmets get too damaged. There is lava here. Oh boy. Um, well, let's light up around the lava so that we can make sure that when the lava goes away much later, uh, we do not accidentally uh, get ourselves damaged in the process. We do not want to get damaged in the process. Therefore, we are making sure we light up everything properly wherever possible. Um, that being said, since there's lava here, <laughs> we don't need to worry about monsters going that way uh, because they can't traverse lava. Uh, they'll just burn to death. So we can just safely uh, mostly ignore it for now. Um, maybe. I mean, unless they can fly or something, right? Uh, I doubt they'd fly. Uh, we're not in the nether, so we don't have to worry about ghasts or blazes. Uh, well, I mean, we have to worry about blazes, but not the monsters. Not the blaze monsters, just regular blazes is a different matter altogether. Uh, I'm just severely overlighting this room because I do not want a bunch of spiders spawning on me. It's not something I really wish to deal with at the moment. Uh, okay. Do I want more coal? There is a lot of coal in this place. I could mine it all out. Uh, however, 
I think I might just continue digging. Uh, I was unaware that I was so close to a ravine with my base, like an actual massive ravine. Uh, so it's, it's good to know that I don't have to worry about that so much anymore. You know, do I need a ravine? Nope, already got one. <laughs> uh, I don't gotta go all very far to find a ravine, apparently. I have one right next to my base. <laughs> Uh, which I'm building in in the spawn chunks, so I, I guess I'm fine there. Uh, I do plan to move out of the spawn chunks. I know, I know, there's a lot that can be done in the spawn chunks. Uh, however, I plan to enjoy making use of the fact that uh, once the parity updates are fully integrated uh, where the C++ version of Minecraft is equal with the Java version uh, then I do want to enjoy having certain features in my game you know uh, I am aware that it is just a dark tunnel that I am slowly progressing down. Oops. I want to actually repair this, so give me a moment. I did not even notice I was digging straight past emeralds. Wow. Okay. I'm definitely going to have to go through and light this place up before I install all of that kelp. Actually, I might install the kelp first because I just, I want an item elevator. It's something that I really do need. Um, however, I want to mine that emerald. Give me your emerald. There we go. Uh, now I need to put that there, that there, that there, that there. Now I can grab that. I'm not drowning anymore. <laughs> All kinds of lovely good news. Yeah, see? See? I knew it was somewhere around here that I would end up. So, I want to encase this as best I can. before I try and wrangle it into this tiny little hole. If I had a dollar for every time. <laughs> for every time I had to avoid wrangling something into a tiny little hole, I'm telling you, I would have a lot more than one dollar. Just saying. Uh, if you know what I mean. don't know what I mean, well then, you're pure, innocent, and sweet, and you shouldn't change a thing. Uh, if you do know what I'm saying, well, good for you. Okay, so I need to make sure that this thing does not get absolutely waterlogged. What I can do is I can install the lantern there, and that will let me know that that is the direction to the uh, 
to the front of the mine. Meanwhile, we have this redstone dust here that I wanted to collect last time. Oh, that's another thing I should do. I should upgrade the blocks the torches are sitting on with andesite as well um, to make it thematic. Ooh, more iron. And I've almost gotten enough experience for that repair on my helmet. Hopefully that's soon, because I do not want to lose this helmet. It's a really good helmet. Okay. Now I switch over to the polished andesite. And then place the torch. Uh, that means I have to go through <laughs> mine out this entire strip. Oh, well, I found more coal. Which means I'm going to need my cobblestone. Uh, I don't really want to leave any of the ores behind that I find at this depth simply because there is such a high probability that I will uncover more uh, ore uh, as I dig all of the ore out. So as a good rule of thumb, if you find something along the lines of coal or iron or... Uh, redstone, you really want to dig it out. Uh, as far as the other variants of rock, such as granite or andesite or diorite, you don't need to mine those out simply because uh, they are very plentiful. Uh, unless, of course, you are actively building with that material at the moment. So, currently, like, I could mine all of that out, yes. However, I'm not actively building with granite, and I'm not actively building with uh, diorite. I am actively building with andesite, so I probably wanted that andesite. Uh, however, I don't currently have much inventory space for andesite, and that andesite vein is probably rather sizable. Uh, therefore, I should just leave that andesite vein alone for now. Um, I will dig this one deeper because of two reasons. One, I am going to want to have this block mined out <laughs> so that I can replace that with andesite. And I'm doing the same on the other side as well. Uh, I've not thought about what I want for the backgrounds, the background blocks. I haven't thought about that. Um, well, I guess that direction, it's not really going to matter. Uh, as these are all going to eventually become pumpkins. Uh, so that way it's going to be much simpler. Um, I guess this side's probably going to end up becoming uh, not andesite, but granite. So that's going to end up becoming granite, not andesite. I want to replace that with granite then, uh, because I brought the granite. Because why not? Uh... Stone, get the redstone. Oh, I guess I got all the redstone and I'm all full now. Well, 
That's awkward. Uh, that being said, this redstone dust has almost given me enough experience to level up. Oh, you're going to be a difficult one to get, get out of, aren't you? Oh, yes you are. Okay, so I have found more of this redstone vein. There's level 16, so I can now. Or no, it's 7 or 18 that I wanted for the uh, the helmet. Ugh. It was 18. I remember now. Um, so yeah. I still need to repair the helmet. I still need to gather materials. I still need to place materials. I have made a mess all over the front of my mine area here, simply because I ran out of room in my inventory, because I was going over here to pick this up in order to replace that with polished granite. Temporarily. <laughs> Before swapping back to this to place back the polished andesite. Now that I have the polished andesite, I need to hurry up and dig out the space for these polished andesite slabs. <laughs> As the polished andesite slabs are going to free up more inventory space because I only have eight of them. So I need to place those four. And then I need another four ahead of them. into the side of the ceiling. Oh well. I'll patch it with cobblestone as usual. Still digging, trying to prevent these redstone dust from despawning. Fortunately, my pickaxe broke first, <laughs> allowing me to pick up all of this redstone dust. Uh, now that I have all of this redstone dust, I can safely fill in all of this space with cobblestone. Yay! Uh, and that will allow me to freely and easily traverse the area without needing to worry about falling into a pit. <laughs> Nobody likes falling into a pit. It kind of sucks. Oops, wrong one. There we go. Ah, my dad's alarm is going off, probably for his medicine. Uh, okay, so cobblestone. There's cobblestone over there, so I need to pick that up. And I need to place that one. Then I need to mine these in order to further progress in this mining branch. Because I have almost used up the final slabs of 
polished andesite. There we go. I can craft more, of course, if I need them. Uh, however, currently I need inventory space more than I need that. Therefore, I went ahead and completed the task of utilizing those. Now, where is the polished andesite? There it is. So this gets a torch. Uh, that gets picked up. And then a torch gets placed here. Uh, polished andesite beneath, of course. And a torch gets placed here with polished granite beneath. Okay. And then we fill in the rest of the layer. Fill in a little more. A little more. And then we've got torch with andesite beneath. And then on this side, torch with granite beneath. Fill in the rest of that layer. Uh, we still need the stairs overhead. Uh, that's not andesite. Make sure it gets picked up. Hop up. Next one over. That's andesite. That's andesite. So I'm going to go through, make sure all of these are andesite. Uh, I've not thought about what I want for the walls. Um, I might do diorite for the walls and just uh, let the uh, granite andesite pattern repeat because that does actually kind of look like it goes together nicely. Uh, I will see if maybe adding the diorite makes it look all right. I'm not sure. I'll need to look into it. For now, however, I found more coal. <laughs> because torches are always something that is needed. Yeah. Uh, this also uh, garners me a lot of experience points. I managed to get hungry, so I shall devour the last cooked pork chop I am holding. That will free up more inventory space. So if I manage to go overboard in how much coal I'm holding, I will be capable of safely storing it as another stack until I realize the error, or the redstone dust that I'm about to pick up, uh, until I realize the error and craft more torches. Uh, redstone dust, a little bit more hard to manage, a little bit more difficult. Worthwhile, of course. Uh, needs a crafting table. I have a crafting table. I can manage it. It'll be fine. Uh, I'd say what's the worst that could happen, but the worst that could happen is I fall into lava. So I know the worst that could happen. I don't want the worst to happen. See, I, uh, I managed to fill up on the coal, which means I needed to 
restock on torches so that I could have room for coal, so that I could have room for more torches, so that I could have room for redstone dust. Um, because I kind of predicted that. Oh my god, Lapis is down here. Lapis Lazuli. Ugh. Okay. That's... Man. See, this is, this is why you gotta be careful when you're mining. Uh, you get a little carried away, and then you find a vein of ore, and you're like, oh my god, this is great. And then you start digging it out, and the next thing you know, you're sitting there with lapis lazuli, uh, just sitting in your lap, and you're sitting there wondering how you're going to stuff it all in, you know? Uh, because, oh my god, it's a lot. <laughs> uh, you know, there, there's a lot to put in, and there's only so much space. You're just wondering, how will it ever fit? Like, what's the secret to making it all fit? It's so big. Uh, I could have used the, the uh, soil I'm carrying to, uh, to further... What's the word I'm looking for? To uh, further free up some inventory space. However... Gather a little bit of oxygen from that place. Uh, this respiration helmet is really, really helping a lot right now. Because this is a powerful downward current. If I really wanted to get up, I actually wanted the other, <laughs> uh, the other source. So the fact that I stopped actually uh, saved me from taking damage. This is very useful because this means that I no longer need to leave the base in order to actually go mining. Uh, However, I do need to check and see how these bees are doing, because, oh my god, they look so adorable. Look at them, they're so cute. Uh, so yeah, I can utilize this to gather honey. Uh, I should do that. I should make inventory space first. <laughs> But yeah, I should, I should actually build a campfire. I should get some glass bottles together, uh, which I'd probably do through fishing. What am I doing? What am I doing? Uh, dirt. Deposit dirt. And there we go. And then I need to deposit my spare andesite, my spare granite, my spare cobblestone all the way down here, uh, I need to deposit this emerald that I grabbed, Throw the iron in the furnace. Where's the iron? There's the iron. Grab the iron ingots out of the furnace, as well as out of storage. Craft iron blocks. Block of iron. Deposit the remaining ingots in storage. Uh, gather up all my redstone dust from storage. Craft block of redstone so that I can find out how much redstone blocks I just gathered. I gathered 17. Holy moly. Almost 18. <laughs> One redstone dust away. Okay. Um, oh, yeah, I suppose I derped up a bit. 
I could have just made some some uh, twigs. Uh, oh well. Uh, one thing Mojang hopefully fixes when it uh, comes to the ability to craft a stack of items is the overflow. There will be overflow, and Mojang needs to be prepared for that. Uh, I should craft a block of coal. Uh, I should also deposit the spare flint that I have. The gravel, of course, as well. Coal, deposit the coal itself. Uh, grab some uh, dried kelp block. Try and deposit any extra fuel I can into the furnace. Get a good stack of 64 in there. Uh, I have a lot of iron, so that is a good thing means that I am capable of uh, of having a good quantity of you know what? I'm going to leave this lava bucket without its lava because I want to just use that experiment that testing area to find out about oh right so this lava is going to burn this forest down but the bees are right here and I kind of want the bees to be not there um, I need the coal. Place that there, that there, that there. Okay, that's all organized. I need campfire. Plain and simple. Okay, the reason I need the campfire is for these bees. What happens is the bees get hit with the campfire smoke. Any moment now, they should all come pouring out of the hive. When that happens, I will want shears. Because, oh, it's above me, it's in the pumpkin chest. I also want these, um, because what ends up happening is when they all end up smoked out of the hive like this, they become passive. And then, voila. I should have gotten an item there. Why did I not get an item? Is it above the tree? There it is. <laughs> Way up there. Uh, give me a moment. I have to go climb a tree in Minecraft. <laughs> um, nope. Okay, let's try that again. Because I know I can make that jump. Double tap, run, jump, go. No. I know I can make this jump. Also, it still hasn't given me the achievement for shooting a bullseye. I'm a little bit annoyed. Okay, so where is this item? 
Ah, here it is. As I was saying, <laughs> uh, you'll be able to get the honey from the hive without angering the bees. I am aware I took damage. I don't care. Uh, the reason why you want this uh, this item, this honeycomb, is you use it to construct a beehive, which is great for an artificial home for your bees so that you can grow your bee population. I'm going to put mine here. Actually, no. No, I'm not going to put mine there. <laughs> I just realized if I put it there, it's gonna get the bees in it, and then I have to put a campfire under it to pacify it. And it's like, no, no, I have a better idea. Let's not put it next to that. Let's put it, uh, let's put it over here. Uh, I will, of course, want to put a campfire under it once again. Uh, so I need to craft another campfire, which is fine. However... Oh, does it need to be two above? Well, that's a little bit annoying. Okay, so what I'll do is I will clear out the block above the beehive, just so the item doesn't teleport up like that again, because that was kind of annoying. And I got another tree I can plant. Yay. I guess I must have missed one in the whole planting process. So yeah, the bees will come out, they'll pollinate some flowers, and then they'll go back to the hive. The plan is that I want to build a spot where they're capable of going and uh, of where they're capable of going and enjoying uh, all of these flowers in a very confined space. The reason for this is because then I can quickly and easily collect all of the honeycomb that I need. Um, I also wish to breed these bees so now there are two bees, they're both fed, they made a baby, the baby will grow up. Uh, when the baby does grow up, the baby will be able to, uh, yeah, this is still on cooldown. So when the baby grows up, the baby will be able to breed as well. Uh, each of these hives can hold three bees, so the bees will return to their hive, they'll make their honey. Uh, I need to grab my fishing rod because I need to start fishing for glass bottles. Uh, it's not a very effective method, however it doesn't involve needing to go dig up a desert, so there's that. Uh, you guys should not have that many eggs. Why do you guys have eggs? Okay, so I guess the hopper filled up with eggs <laughs> almost instantly at that. Wow. Okay, so that happened.
And then there was that. Okay. So this is less of a needing to place that, more of a needing to place this. <laughs> Uh, this is going to need to just keep running because otherwise we're just going to keep ending up with situations like that where everything backs up and in this case everything backed up to the point where I walked in and I just saw eggs <laughs> and it's like you guys aren't supposed to have eggs in there why do you have eggs uh, so I had to collect all of those eggs there were a lot of eggs and then I looked in the hopper in the back, and it had more eggs. So I'm glad I actually reduced the number in this chamber to only 16 chickens. I counted them. There's 16 of them. Uh, as 16 is, in fact, well above the amount I need. I do not need this much chicken. Okay? I could probably do... I could probably be just fine with half of this. Uh, and even then, like, it's still going. Yeah, it just now stopped. You can tell because the sound of the clicking changed ever so slightly. Uh, but yeah. That is... overkill. Uh... I will leave that on for now <laughs> just because I want it to have them grow up and instantly die. I don't want to have them spawning eggs again. Uh, I don't need more eggs if I did. Well, I could just clear out this barrel and make another barrel for eggs, have it just keep feeding chickens into the eggs. This is going to be very laggy for a little while, so I'm just going to not look in this direction. I'm just not going to go in there. Because that's just going to be very laggy for a while. Uh, also, it's nighttime and there's a zombie literally waiting to ambush me. Wow. At least I know where I need to place a torch. Uh, by the way, I have a Patreon. If any of you wish to support me monetarily, it would be greatly appreciated. Uh, I also will find it very helpful if you like the channel, uh, or if you subscribe, or both. Um, the, uh, the YouTube algorithms will take notice of people liking my content. So if you like my channel, the YouTube algorithm will notice that and will start sending more people to my channel uh, simply because it has noticed that my channel is something that people enjoy. Uh, you may also receive a survey on whether or not my video seems like good content recommendations. Uh, you probably won't know right away if my, my channel seems like a good recommendation, as YouTube has a tendency to ask this before showing the video and not after, which is a bit of a backwards way of figuring out if you like something. You're not supposed to figure out if you like it beforehand. Oh, come on, zombie. Well, at least he's dying. Eh, he went to go run in the water. He was like, I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make it. And he died. <laughs> he almost made it. And then he died. Um... Okay, that was awkward. That was just a lot of rotten flesh all at once. Uh, like, I saw myself getting less hungry, and yet it was only one rotten flesh. So, 
I don't know what to tell you on that. Uh, what I do know is the fact that this is so well lit is going to prevent any monsters from spawning in this forest. This is going to be the best forest. <laughs> Uh, because all of these pumpkins provide light, so I don't have to worry about that. Uh, and this section is Enderman-proofed. Uh, partially. <laughs> this section is Enderman-proofed, he says, as he notices a chunk of section is missing, thanks to an Enderman. <laughs> Fortunately, he had dirt to replace it with. So, no problem. Okay, so this does not seem to be lighting this on fire, which is good. Um, that being said, I need to make sure that uh, any items from these trees that are closest to the fire are not going to land in the lava when I chop these trees down. So I need to actually go around these trees and just knock out the various leaves uh, on the closest edges. Actually, I suppose I could just take out the logs. That'd probably be much more reliable uh, as the trees themselves are somewhat overlapping with other trees. I will probably find it best to just take out the logs. Uh, that being said, the one on uh, the side closest to my base, I did want to make sure that one got a nice head start on the decay. I think I'll gather some of these leaves. I'm going to need leaves soon. So I shall gather some of these leaves. Um, oh yeah, uh, leaves are another one of the things that you get a lot of bone meal from. All of these automatic tree farms, the fully automatic ones, where all you really have to do is just sit there and plant a sapling and it does the rest. Yeah, those are missing out because you can compost these leaves. So if you get someone who's sitting there with some shears as well, uh, you can really, really get a lot of bone meal just by composting all of the leaves. Like really a lot of bone meal. Not even joking, man. Like, holy cow, so much bone meal. I want to move these then, don't I? Since I don't want the ones right up against the lava. Uh, because I want to preserve what is now apparently my apiary. <laughs> um, so I want to make sure that this area is nice and well preserved and well treated and not going to catch on fire. <laughs> that last bit's kind of important. <laughs> Some people think it's only important on days that end with Y, and I am inclined to agree with them, but I think I might have to sometimes disagree as I think it's just always going to be important. <laughs> Not just on days that end with Y, of course. Um, 
but yeah, leaves are useful as you can use the leaves, the leaf block itself, uh, for spawn proofing, actually. Um, speaking of which, I just remembered I need to spawn proof up here. Yay, I never spawn proofed my, <laughs> my, uh, my horse pen. Oh well, it's spawn proof now. So there's that. Uh, let's see, what else we got? Got some leaves, more leaves. How many leaves do I have? Almost two stacks, about one and a quarter. Not too bad. Uh, ah, the honeycomb is ready. Now I can make another beehive. Actually, I can wait until these guys pop out and then I'll be able to harvest their, uh, their beehive without damaging them. Okay. Or I could accidentally anger them. Yeah, 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 yeah. You stung me. I gotcha, gotcha. You're fine. Jeez. <laughs> so that was kind of rude of them. Uh, however, I managed to get uh, I believe I managed to get away without them all dying let me see can I feed you a flower Can I feed you a flower? Hey, can I feed you a flower? Well, that's unfortunate. So I wrecked their nest and then they all died. I didn't want them to all die. They just kind of did. That's unfortunate. I do now have a place for them to live. Uh, however, <sighs> there is of course now no bees to live in it. So I need to start chopping down trees again because I need to replant all of these trees in order to get the bees to spawn through use of uh, spawning in a tree with a beehive on it. Um, quick and simple way to get bees in your base or at your base is to just build a tree farm. I guess. Um, it's the easy method. Uh, there is an alternative. I do know of another beehive I can import bees from. Uh, what I want to do in order to retrieve that beehive nest is I just want to be... Uh, <laughs> I want to breed those bees. Uh, the reason for that is because that will allow me 